company could not be present he has designated mr neeraj uh, chandra managing director of the company as chairman of this meeting uh, further mr mohanjit walia could not attend the meeting due to personal commitments uh, he has designated uh, jaychandra sir uh, director and member of the nrc uh, to be present on his behalf so uh, now i would uh, like to request uh, mr neeraj chandra to check the, uh, to take the chair and proceed for uh, neeraj sir please yeah uh, thank you paras uh, a very good afternoon to all of you i am fortunate that i am addressing all of you on behalf of akuroto limited as the chairman of 35th annual meeting of the company in compliance with the provision of ministry of corporate affairs and sebi he has organized this meeting for shareholders through video conferencing thank you for joining us virtually i request our company secretary mr paras to check if the required quorum is present and then proceed with the meeting so over to you paras thank you uh, i am checking it uh, nsdl team can you uh, can you check the uh, quorum and let us know one second sir at this moment sir 56 members are present on the nsdl e voting board okay thank you uh, neeraj bhai required quorum is present uh, you may proceed further thanks varas uh, thanks uh, the team uh, tech support uh, uh, the required quorum is present for the meeting through video conferencing so i give instruction to start the proceeding of this agm i request mr paras to introduce our directors and other officers to our shareholders over to you paras uh, i would like to first introduce introduce mrs aarti ji juneja uh, who is independent director and chairperson of the audit committee meeting who is present uh, now uh, um, uh, one second sir uh, aarti ma'am please unmute yourself good afternoon everyone mr gurudeva madhukar yadwarkar independent director uh, additional uh, chairman of stake stakeholders relationship committee is also present hello jineja uh, valya sir uh next is uh, mr mahendra patel world time director and cf of the company is also present sir he is joining the meeting so he would not be able to speak right now uh, but he is present in the meeting okay uh mr vijay kedia non executive non independent director of the company has also joined he is present vijay sir yeah sorry yeah good afternoon everybody so, sorry i was on mute <laughs> sorry yeah um uh, mr i thought yeah sorry uh mr jaychandra swami nathan uh director and member of the nrc uh, also present hello everybody uh mr jv adya president finance of the company is also present hello good afternoon namaste everyone uh except mr jainti bhai chandra and uh, uh, mr mohan jit valya all the director are present through video conferencing uh, uh, in addition to that ca kapil sangvi partner messrs maharishian company statutory auditors of the company and ca sardi kudda secretarial auditor are also present good afternoon everyone uh, good afternoon uh ca sardi kudda has also appointed as a scrutinizer to scrutinize the uh, this e voting process and agm through vc in fair and transparent manner uh, now i request chairman sir uh, to take the proceedings further uh, neeraj sir please 
Thank you, Paras. Uh, once again, I welcome to uh, uh, directors uh, for this AGM. Thank you so much for joining in. Uh, now I request Mr. Paras to inform us about the regulatory matters and general information related to this AG. Uh, shareholders may note that uh, this annual general meeting is being held through video conferencing in accordance with the provisions of the Companies Act and circulars issued by the Ministry of Corporate Affairs as well as SEBI. Facility for joining this meeting is made available through video conferencing platform of National Security Depository Limited, NSDL, for all the members. Now an advisory for the shareholders. All the members who have joined this meeting are by default placed on mute mode by the host to avoid any disturbance arising from the background noise and to ensure smooth and seamless conduct of the meeting. Once the name of the speaker shareholder is called out, the respective speaker will be unmuted by the host to enable him or her to speak. The shareholder is requested to switch on video as well as audio and if some reason the shareholder is not able to join through video mode, he or she can still speak using the audio mode. While speaking, we request shareholders to use earphones so that they are clearly audible and it would also minimize any noise in the background. We are also requested to ensure that Wi-Fi is not connected to any other devices. No other background applications are running and proper light is available to have clarity in video. If there is a connectivity problem at the end of the speakers, the host may unmute such speakers and the next speakers will be invited to speak. Since this AGM is held through VC, in compliance with the applicable circulars of Ministry of Corporate Affairs and SEBI, physical attendance of members have been dispensed with. Accordingly, the facility for appointment of proxy and proposing seconding of resolutions are not available for the meeting. The register of directors and key managerial personnel and their shareholdings, register of contracts, the memorandum and articles of association of the company, etc., as required to be kept at the registered office and at IGM are available electronically for inspection by the members. Members seeking to inspect such documents can email to investor relations at adulotto.co.in, which is also mentioned in the AGM notice. The notice of 35th AGM, along with copies of audited standalone financial statements and audited consolidated financial statements for the financial year ended 31st March 2023, together with the directors and auditors report have been mailed within the statutory period to all the shareholders whose email addresses are registered with the company or RTA or their depository participants. The same is also uploaded on the website of the company uh, www.autoloto.co.in. With the permission of the members, I now taking the notice of the 35th AGM and board's report which are circulated to all the shareholders as read. As the statutory auditor's report for the finance year ended 31st March 2023 do not contain any disqualification, observation, comments, or adverse remark, the same is taken as read. As per the company SEC 2013 and SEBI listing regulations, the company has provided facility of remote voting to the shareholders to enable them cast their vote electronically. As per the timelines mentioned in the AGM notice, the remote voting facility was provided for three days which con concluded at 5 p.m. yesterday. Further, in compliance with the rules on e-voting friend under the Company Act 2013 and the circulars of MCA, the e-voting at the AGM is also arranged on NSDL e-voting platform during AGM. The shareholders who have not cast their vote during remote e-voting process and otherwise not barred by, uh, from doing so shall be eligible to vote during the AGM by clicking on link cast your vote on shareholder VC page by entering the required details. Once the chairman orders commencement of e-voting, uh, the, the tab will be activated to enable such shareholders to cast their votes uh, electronically. They can vote by clicking on the vote tab till 15 minutes after the conclusion of the meeting. Shareholders may please note that there will be no voting by so offense. Now let's go to the agenda items before the shareholders. There are six agenda items for approval of the shareholders. Three agenda items are of ordinary businesses out of which the first is the consideration and adoption of the audited standalone financial statement of the company for the financial ended 31st March 2023 to, together with the board's report thereon and auditor's report thereto. The second is consideration and adoption of the audited consolidated financial statement of the company 
for the financial year ended 31st March 2023 and auditors report there too. And the third is the reappointment of Mr. Jayanti Bhai Chandra as the director who is retired by rotation and being eligible offered himself for reappointment. These items are proposed to be passed as ordinary resolutions. The remaining three are the special businesses. Agenda item number four is the appointment of Mr. Gurudeva M. Yadwarkar as independent director for a first term of three years from 11th August 2023 to 10th August 2026, which is proposed to be passed as special resolution. Agenda item number five is to approve material related party transactions with Kusbo to private limited for sale or supply of goods and rendering of services. Agenda item number six is to approve material related party transaction by Atul Green Tech Private Limited with Kusbu Auto Private Limited for sale or supply of goods and rendering of services. Uh, this agenda item number five and six are to be passed as uh, ordinary resolutions. The meaning, scope, and implications of the resolutions proposed as special business at the AGM are already set out in the notice of the AGM and explanatory statement. And for the sake of brevity, are not being repeated again. Now I request Chairman Sir uh, to take the proceedings further. Uh, Neither Sir, please. Thank you so much, Paras. Now I request uh, meeting host to enable for voting for presented shareholders of the AGM. Further, I request to our president finance, Mr. JV Adia, to give a brief information about the financial performance of 2022-23. Uh, over to you, Mr. Adia. Thank you, MD sir. Uh, good afternoon to everyone once again. Uh, very briefly, I would like to take you through the business and financial performance for uh, financial year 2023. I'll start with uh, business performance. Uh, a volume for uh, financial year 2023, uh, a company has sold 25,549 vehicles mm -hmm. as compared to 16,061 vehicles in FY22. We grew by 59%. For the year, our export volume has remained 2,566 vehicles as against 1,691 vehicles. We grew by 52% over the previous year. Uh, with improved numbers, uh, we were able to maintain our composition between domestic and uh, export revenue. Uh, our uh, domestic uh, sales has remained 90%, whereas uh, export revenue in top line is 10 percent. Domestic sales contribution has improved from all four directions. Uh, we were up by 94 percent in west, uh, we were up by 24 percent in east, north by 9 percent and south by 48 percent. Historically, our sales composition between cargo and passenger has remained 45-55 uh, uh, ratio. For the year 2023, our market share for cargo vehicle has improved from 8.94% to 11.74%. Now, I move to financial performance uh, highlights. Uh, for the year, our turnover has remained uh, 467 crore as compared to 286 crore last year. We were up by 63.12%. Realization, our has been improved by 9,039 9, rupees, which is up by 5.69% compared to financial year 2022. Our space sales has improved to rupees uh, 38 crore 28 lakhs from 31 crore 31 lakhs. It is up by 22.26%. Profit before tax has improved to rupees 598 lakhs as compared to loss of uh, 32 crore 49 lakhs for a uh, financial year 2022. Profit after tax has improved to rupees 440 lakhs as compared to loss of 24 crore 87 lakhs last year. Company's cash profit has remained 2100 lakhs as compared to loss of 2272 lakhs. 
for financial year FY22. Raw material consumption has improved by 4.58% during the year from 83.95% in financial year FY2022 to 79.37% in FY23. EBITDA has improved from negative 6.68% to positive 5.55%. In absolute terms, it is positive by 2,591 lakhs as compared to negative 1,914 lakhs last year. Operating profit has improved to rupees 26 crore 58 lakhs compared to losses of 19 crore 48 lakhs in previous year. Company was able to derive net cash from operating activities to the tune of 12 crore 6 lakhs compared to losses of 18 crore 98 lakhs previous year. During this period, since last year, the company has infused a fresh capital of 89 crore 75 lakhs up to March 2023 and were able to reduce the entire term debt of 75 crore. Now, there are a few uh, important business and financial indicators which I would like to explain. Uh, current ratio has improved from 1.12 times to 1.46 times. It is up by 30.54%. Debt equity ratio has remained 0.11 times compared to 0.30 times for FY22. DSCR has remained 0.49 times compared to negative 2.70 times for FY22. Return on equity ratio improved to 1.47% compared to negative 8.85% in previous year. Rate payable turnover improved to 8.73 times compared to 5.45 times. Net capital turnover ratio has improved to 19.70 times compared to 13.28 times. Net profit ratio has improved to positive 0.93% compared to negative 8.46%. There is a significant drop in uh, non-current liabilities of rupees 42 crore 97 lakhs. Though the top and bottom line has improved significantly, there is no variation in absolute quantum of other expenses, which has remained at almost same level up to rupees 35 crore 91 lakhs for FY23, which was 35 crore 32 lakhs for FY22. This was uh, a brief financial uh, performance, business performance, and some indicators. Thank you so much. Over to you, Neeraj Pai. Thank you so much, uh, Ajay Bhai. Thank you so much. Yeah, so now I request uh, uh, Mr. Paras to allow the speakers to ask their questions and provide necessary information about the questions answer session for this AGM. Thank you. Uh, now I request the host to allow the speakers uh, who have registered themselves as speaker for this AGM in advance to express their views or ask the questions. Uh, I would like to bring to the attention of the other members that they may also ask their question and can also post their question during AGM through active chatbot, which is available in the VC or YVM page. As per given serial number and after announcement, the speaker will be allowed to speak by the host. First, the question uh, questions of speaker will be taken up and then the chairman or the respective person will address all the questions to avoid unnecessary repetition. Uh, Ankur Bhai, uh, can you please announce the names of the speakers and take the questions? Speaker shareholder number one, Mr. Yusuf Renos Rangwala, please unmute yourself. Hello, 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 sir. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, Yusuf Bhai. Are a chairman, sir. Aapko dekho, aapka chairman speech, sir. La job, sir. Mere paas koi sabda nahi hai. Yes, I've got some guys up a chairman speech that this up with them. Yes, a full, full, full kilt, pull up this and up a chairman speech that. Sir, men have got auto with the hazard men, let you present it out, sit poor men, walk up the auto, sir, walk the famous is to the other act of the company, sir. Whatever I have a mistake of the correct person, or put up Jerry, Mr. Humpy Gujarat, Jay Gujarat, 
सर हम भी गुजरात सर माय नेटिव प्लेस इज सिपुर सर सो वी आर अ टू गुजरात इज आर मीटिंग सर एंड सर मैं जानना चाहता हूं सर आपने लास्ट ईयर पर लास्ट टाइम आपको मैंने रिक्वेस्ट किया था कि मेरे को फैक्ट्री विजिट करना है सर आज देखो सर कितना मीटिंग है सर आपका प्यार डुलार और आपका मोहब्बत जो मैं खींच के लेके ये छोटा सा उसे पे करना चाहता हूं जैसा लो लो चमक चमकता है ऐसा आपके प्यार हमारे तरह बांटा है सर प्यार जो है हम प्यार के लिए भूखे सर क्या करे सर प्यार बहुत कम मिलता है लेकिन आपकी कंपनी इतनी अच्छी है जो शेयर होल्डर को बहुत जुड़ा देते हैं और बहुत चाहते हैं सर हो सके तो आपने सर राजकोट में मैंने मिठाई मोकर दो सर राजकोट में पेड़ा है बहुत फेमस है साहब दिवाली में क्या मोकर दो साहब भूल जो मत इतना मारो अंबर रिक्वेस्ट है क्योंकि तुम्हें मिठाई मोकर दो तो आपने मिठाई पहने आपने से जरूर ऐसे सर बाकी हो सके तो सर मैंने राजकोट में जानू ये टोटल नंबर ऑफ स्टाफ कितना है सर व्हाट इज द टोटल नंबर ऑफ स्टाफ एंड सर वन मोर थिंग सर आई लव टू नो वेल वाज द लास्ट लास्ट बोनस जो है अबाउट 2 इयर्स बैक से जो दिख रहा है बोनस यस सर दे वर अ लेटर ऑफ बोनस आई टू एक पर एक इफ आई नॉट मिस इट प्लीज करेक्ट मी सर वेल यू डिक्लेअर अ बोनस लास्ट बोनस आपने कितना वर्ष किया था ये जो 18 मार्च को तो 101 बिकॉज़ आपकी कंपनी सर ऑटो ऑटो इज अ लार्ज लार्ज जॉब कंपनी सर ऑटो ऑटो को कोई जरूरत नहीं है हमें कुछ और नहीं सर सर अपना तो वर्ल्ड फेमस है सर गुजरात का तो अपना टोटल चैलेंज है सर थैंक यू वेरी मच वे वॉट प्लस आवर कंपनी दिवाली दशहरा बटाओ में सुख अपना डोर है थैंक यू वेरी मच सर पूरा आप सर वे वॉट प्लस आवर कंपनी फूलों की खुशबू कलियों के बाद और अपना साथ हमेशा जुड़ा रहे सर सर दिवाली में आप भूलना मत सर मेरे को इतना रिक्वेस्ट है आप याद रखना सर दुआ में याद रखना सर थैंक यू सर वे वॉट प्लस थैंक यू थैंक यू स्पीकर शेयर होल्डर नंबर टू मिस्टर राहुल नितवारे मिस्टर राहुल नितवारे यस एम आई ऑडिबल यस यू आर ऑडिबल ओके या गुड आफ्टरनून ऑल ऑफ यू आई हैव अ फ्यू क्वेश्चंस द फर्स्ट इज यू नो द ईवी मार्केट दीस डेज इज वेरी क्राउडेड सो हाउ डू वी प्लान टू टैकल दिस कंपटीशन according to you is the more or the competitive advantage the company has the second question is what will be the sustainable growth rate for the next few years do we have any expansion plans and lastly i would like to know what is the long term vision for the company where do you aspire to see the company say in the next 3 to 5 years thank you speaker shareholder number 3 mr jaydeep bothra i i would like to uh... let us yes sir uh, let us uh, let us answer the questions of the uh, speaker and then we move to the next uh, you know the, uh, okay sir not an issue did i right? okay okay rahul bhai you asked for uh, ev market uh, that which is uh, really very crowded you are very right there are lot many players uh, this market is evolving but obviously uh the experience and the roots has its own importance uh, we are here for uh, more than four decades and we understand the market we understand the the uh, manufacturing methods and we have uh, required expertise to manufacture the product one the other thing we we know the uh, customer and customer we understand their requirement we support them not only by providing the application but we stand by with our warranty policies and uh, availability of spare part uh, this market obviously whenever there is you know some new uh, product or a uh, new commodities are being introduced over a period of time market gets stabilized and then all uh, you know uh, all the players are not supposed to uh, continue with the business uh, the only uh, place which has got you know the uh, fundamental scene place they are going to survive it uh, for atul auto limited we have uh, products on both the platform in ev category there are uh, there are two different platforms uh, one is l3 which is generally powered by lead acid battery other is uh, uh, l5 category which is powered by lithium ion battery we have a product on both the platform uh, from application point of view we have developed a product for passenger and cargo application for lithium ion battery we have backward integration we manufacture uh, and assemble the battery in house uh, we we have uh, a complete european technology available and our battery has been qualified for ais 156 phase 1 and phase 2 both the product has been homologated 
once again, this alpha category product, which is uh, compatible with the conventional vehicle, is available for both the application that is uh, passenger as well as cargo. Uh, we have uh, dual uh, battery options as well. Uh, in case of uh, a long range requirement, we can offer uh, dual battery as well. As long as uh, other solutions are concerned, we are working upon it. Uh, we, we have our own in-house uh, fixed battery solution for a uh, swappable battery. We have tied up with formula. So this is about EV market. Uh, we, we definitely would like to uh, you know, place ourselves with the best quality which we can offer to the customer. And in long run, yes, uh, we would be offering the solutions on three wheels for a conventional uh, fuel or fossil fuel, as well as we would be offering with electric vehicle. About uh, our uh, three to five years vision, uh, we, we were under greenfield expansion pre-COVID. We were able to complete our expansion. Now, company is ready with uh, a total capacity of 120,000 units. And in next three to five years, definitely we would like to utilize this capacity completely. As of now, we are available in uh, domestic as well as export market. And we would keep on uh, penetrating our products in a deeper pockets. So I believe I try to cover all the questions Rahul by and uh, would like to move to the next speaker. Uh, tech support, can I, can I take uh, uh, next speaker, please? Yes, sir. Can I, can I take a next speaker, please? Yes, sir. Mr. Jaydeep Mothra. Mr. Putra, uh, good afternoon. I believe you have already uh, said your, uh, you know, questions uh, through email. Uh, may I go through with each of the answers, please? Mr. Putra? Yeah, yeah, I am audible, sir. Yeah, yeah, now you are perfectly audible. Would you like to speak anything or should I uh, give the answer whatever you have raised? Yeah, yeah, please answer it. No problem. Okay. I, 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 I have already explained, Mr. Botra, medium to long term management reason on EV business. We are going to remain on both the platform, that is L3 as well as L5, uh, providing all, all type of applications for cargo, passenger, and if required, we will be uh, developing customized or special purpose vehicle as well. Right. Uh, uh, the other thing, as you have, uh, you know, asked about uh, that quarter one vote post out because of OBD2 compliances, now that is in place. And uh, if you have observed, our numbers started improving uh, for month of July and August, which are already there. We expect that uh, from this point onwards, we will be definitely delivering better volume and uh, uh, about the peak volume, which you have mentioned about 50,000 units, yes, uh, we would like to deliver as fast as possible, but uh, on a reasonable ground. We, we see that that may happen sometimes in the next year. All right. Uh, uh, about the production capacity, uh, as you know, we had a perfect business case pre-COVID level. Uh, we, we were doing around 50,000 units, and that was the perfect time for us to uh, move into the greenfield expansion. We did that correctly, unfortunately, because of COVID, uh, that was, uh, you know, uh, disrupted. And uh, for last couple of years, uh, we are just trying to set our business parameter uh, on a right uh, platform. We expect that things have started setting up well, market is conducive. Overall, uh, economic environment is positive, and no sooner uh, we, we uh, penetrate our products in a deeper market, we will be uh, going to deliver a better volume than the uh, 50,000 unit what, uh, is the benchmark for us in our previous uh, FY19, I believe. Our manufacturing capacity of EV battery as of now, it is 10,800. Uh, we, we can, with a uh, preparation of around three to six months, we can double this capacity, depending upon the demand and how the market is going to shape up. 
we expect that uh, we will be able to get the required volume uh, about uh, manufacturing capacity of petrol and combined engines uh, please note that uh, vehicle platform is common for all type of vehicle uh, collectively my line is fungible and we can manufacture 120000 units of any type of public vehicle uh, uh, what is our uh, target for uh, increasing number of dealers that uh, depends upon the uh, market sentiments and uh, uh, obviously the external uh, factors which are beyond our control but uh, uh, broadly we, we expect that uh, in, a, in any financial year depending upon the pace and uh, uh, upon economic environment we can get anywhere between 20 to 30 or 50 dealers. Uh, that is what uh, you know we expect. Uh, then you asked about uh, export incentives uh, in in form of road tax for uh, alternate fuel cargo. It is 1.5 percent, and duty drawback is available 2 percent. For diesel cargo, a road tax is 1.40 percent, and duty drawback is 2 percent. Alternate fuel passenger. Uh, one road tap is 1.40 percent and duty drawback is 2 percent. Diesel fuel passenger uh, road tap is 0.90 percent and duty drawback is 2 percent. That is what incentives are available. We do not qualify for PLI, PLI scheme because the, the, the requirement for qualification is very big. And for three dealer, uh, obviously, we cannot reach up to that capex level. And as of now, that is not practical as well. Uh, about research and development expenses, what we have incurred in last year is 368 lakh. But may I tell you, sir, uh, there are always uh, continuous uh, value engineering and value addition which is going on. And the expenditure which are uh, incurred for value addition and value engineering are being charged to PNL. So it is not being identified as an R&D expenditure separately. For the current fiscal as such, we do not have, a, have any program for development of new product. Though uh, we will be continuously doing value in, uh, addition and value engineering. And uh, as such, uh, for uh, R&D, we always understand the requirement and uh, uh, the budget approval is always spontaneous. Uh, you would like to know the specific region which we are targeting outside India. Uh, 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 Mr. Bothra, uh, obviously each number counts for us and uh, as of now, the emerging market is Latin America and African continent uh, where we are focusing. As of now, we are exporting to somewhere close to 15 countries and uh, the total number of countries which are uh, using three wheelers are close to 36 countries. Uh, we have already introduced our uh, alternate fuel three wheeler, uh, petrol three wheeler in this market, and we are receiving very positive feedback. We we are uh, quite excited and quite confident that once that seeding process is over, we will be able to take up this product to the various countries. I believe I I briefly I tried to touch upon whatever you have asked. Thank you. Thank thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Uh, sir, speaker shareholder number four, Mr. Hardik Jain, and speaker shareholder number five, Mr. Anil Mehta is not present in the meeting. We can go ahead with the further meeting proceedings. Uh, Uncle Bhai, actually, uh, we have received uh, some questions from uh, Hardik Jain. So I, I request Tadia, sir, I am presenting their questions. Uh, if we can take it up. Uh, just uh, a minute. Sure, sure, Paras Bhai. Thank you so much. Uh, I have a mail from Mr. P.K. Mehta, where uh, they have asked that. The, can we take the uh, questions of uh, Hardik Jain also? I have. Uh, I, I, okay, okay. okay. Uh, how much growth you expect in next few years? Yes, uh, we, we, we would like to outperform the industry. Industry in the current financial year is expected to grow as predicted by the pundits is somewhere close to 25 to 30 percent. We would definitely like to uh, you know, outperform the industry. However, it is really difficult for us to predict the precise number. What kind of margins do we expect on a sustainable basis? Uh, the first uh, target is to acquire pre-COVID level wherein 
uh, our EBITDA and uh, gross margin were about 15 percent. So that would be, and we were delivering uh, quite a handsome and uh, uh, quite a handsome profit uh, in the bottom line. What challenges does uh, do you foresee in the business? Uh, uh, not much, except. Uh, uh, availability of uh, retail finance, which is uh, always uh, volatile. Otherwise, uh, our, our product is complying with old statutory requirement. That is, uh, in case of conventional vehicle, our old vehicles are meeting with the compliance of BS6. And in case of EV, it, it meets with the AIS 156, phase one and phase two. Our old products are homologated and we are already selling all these products uh, in the market. Uh, the next is, uh, should I take Mr. Mehta's question, uh, Mr. Parra? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Uh, we have a capacity of 120,000 units, but our utilization is still around 25%. So how many years do we expect it will take to reach to the optimum level? I, I expect in next couple of years, we would be definitely utilizing it up to the uh, 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 above uh, uh, or close to 80 percent kindly said the margin profile growth and which we, which is uh, I, I have already covered in my initial remark are we also looking to outsource our capacity to other brands so that utilization level can be increased we are open for all kind of opportunities depending upon the merit of the proposal we may accept or we may reject the proposal however on a, on a plain uh, uh, ground, my answer is yes. Uh, what growth rate do we plan for maintain next year and years ahead? As I said, uh, this year we, we intend to outperform the industry. Unfortunately, quarter one was washed out, though we, we are still uh, confident that we are left with another uh, six, six, seven months and wherein we will be able to cover up the ground. Uh, uh, in nutshell, uh, we, we expect to uh, definitely deliver uh, year over year uh, more than double digit growth and uh, we, we would be surely doing that with a complete product portfolio available with us. Otherwise, I try to cover everything. Is there any other speaker or any other questions? Sir. Any other speakers are there? Sir, no one has joined so far from speakers in order number four and five. Okay, so uh, uh, all the uh, all the we have attended all the speakers who have registered themselves uh, before the AGM. We have also taken up the questions uh, of the shareholders who could not join the join as a speaker or requested for the answer of the their queries. So once again. Uh, I would like to inform the shareholders who have not cast their vote through Timothy voting can cast their uh, vote, votes during AGM following the instructions mentioned in the uh, notice of AGM. It will be available till 15 minutes from the conclusion of this AGM. The results of this uh, e-voting uh, along with the scrutinized report shall be communicated to BAC and NSE where the equity shares of the company are listed and will also uh, put up on the company's website and on the website of uh, NSDL within two working days. Since all the questions of the speakers have been take up, taken up and uh, do not have any other agenda items, I request Chairman Sir uh, to announce, announce the conclusion of the meeting. Uh, Neeraj Sir, please. Yeah, <clears throat> thank you so much, uh, Mr. Adia, for answering the questions uh, very precisely. And uh, I hope that the answers, uh, uh, the questions have been answered well. Uh, uh, at the end of the meeting, uh, I would like to thank uh, thank our customers, uh, precisely uh, our dealers, uh, vendors, uh, our employees, uh, government of India, state government, and all, uh, and specifically our shareholders uh, for your support and trust. Uh, so thank you so much all once again for joining in today. Uh, for this AGM. I really appreciate your, appreciate your time. Uh, so since everything has been concluded well, so now I declare this meeting as concluded. Thank you so much.
Thank you. Thank you, every directors, for joining the meeting and specifically to Neeraj Bhai for acting as the chairman. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Sir, we have stopped the live streaming of the meeting and now we are ending the meeting for everyone. Have a great day. Thank you.